So the saber-toothed cat, Smilodon fatalis, was a very specialised hunter. It had these saber teeth, um, as well as the saber teeth, there were incisors at the front which protruded forwards. They may have used those to grip hold of the neck of the prey before they uh, used the canines to slash the throat. They also had a gap between their incisors and their sort of molars at the back. Uh, the molars at the back were sort of carnassial teeth, um, similar to um, what uh, other cats have, except um, these um, probably weren't used for breaking up bone, but were just used for shearing meat. Um, modern day cats also use their um, carnassial teeth to shear through meat, but they can also shear through bone. Uh, it's believed that the Smilodon fatalis probably didn't um, go for ch chomping on bones in case it would damage its um, canines, but it would use those teeth, the teeth here, the carnassial teeth, to slice through meat and then take the meat in through the side of its skull. So they were very specialised um, animals and their dentition or teeth was very, very um, specialised for large prey and their jaws could open about 120 degrees to get round the throat of a bison or a camel or a horse uh, in order to uh, deliver a killing blow with their sabres. The um, interesting thing is that the saber teeth or saber tooth cats were uh, there at the same time as people too, so they did coexist with the ancestors of uh, Native Americans. Um, the saber tooth cats, uh, Smilodon fatalis, uh, they did exist from 1.6 million years ago to about 13,000 years ago, and living um, they lived in North America. Uh, humans came into America from Asia, it's believed about 16,500 years ago, and at the time there was a sort of ice-free corridor um, all the way through from a land called Beringia, which um, is where the Bering Straits are now, and this corridor of land is where the ancestors of Native Americans came through into America around 16,000 years ago. The ancestors of uh, um, the Native Americans had lived on the land in Beringia probably for thousands of years before they en entered the American continent. Um, about 13,000 years ago, the temperatures did begin to rise and the ice that was covering a lot of Canada and uh, uh, other parts of America like North, uh, uh, North Dakota uh, disappeared. When the ice uh, did go, uh, that affected the rest of the continent and the uh, temperate f sort of scrubby forests where the Smilodon fidelis lived began to shrink um, and it may have changed to desert or grassland. Um, at the same time, about 13,000 years ago, um, other large animals like giant sloth, the camels, mammoth and ancient, ancient bison became extinct. The ancient bison were larger than the modern day bison, probably about a quarter uh, bigger than the ones that they have now. And uh, it's believed that you know these animals were adapted to slightly colder temperatures and, um, and you know, different uh, sort of conditions. So when the temperature did rise about 13,000 years ago, many of the large animals, the megafauna, became extinct. And the last or latest um, date for a saber-tooth cat of the Smilodon fatalis at the La Brea Tar Pits is about 13,025 years ago. So about 13,000 years ago, the Smilodon fatalis became extinct. Interestingly, um, in South America, uh, a, a, um, a sort of a relative or descendant of the Smilodon fatalis called Smilodon um, populator, which is actually larger, about four feet at the shoulder. So again, we get about a quarter of uh, the quarter as big again as the uh, saber tooth cat we have here. This Smilodon populator in South America um, survived and went all the way down to Chile and was there until about 11,000 years ago. But again, similarly in, similarly in uh, South America, large prey became um, less uh, common and eventually the Smilodon populator um, saber tooth cat in South America also became extinct, extinct about 11,000 years ago. So uh, these saber tooth cats uh, were quite impressive 
And I imagine when people did uh, meet up with them, it would be quite a surprise for them. And uh, the sad thing is that the uh, saber-toothed cats most probably died out just because the temperature became warmer and the large prey that they needed to survive died out.